All right, so this field is almost ready for harvest. You can see the big difference um, in that the number of leaves that have fallen. I mean, just look in the middles here, and um, you hear me crunching through them probably. And um, I'm not sure if you can hear it's raining or not, um, but I kind of hope you can because I thought I'd talk to you a, a second on video about what rain does to a cotton crop at harvest time. Um, as you can see, unlike some plants, uh, what you want to harvest on cotton is fully exposed to the elements. So whereas soybeans are still in the pod, uh, cotton is uh, out and about. So some of the kinds of things that can happen on cotton, so, so these bowls still look like what we'd like them to look like. Um, with the cotton very close in on those, these woody parts here, that part is called the brack. And so you can tell with that one, this one here, um, even this one, uh, they're still holding into that bowl quite well. But if you look over here, it looks like some of these have already been rained on once before this year. So you get two different things. So that's called string out. You can see that that bowl, this brock here at the very top, uh, the length that was there has now fallen down a little bit or stringing out from the bowl. If it actually lands on the ground, uh, like some of the cotton over here, um, at that point it's, it's fall out and stuff. It's not just string out. You've actually had that uh, that loose, you know, the yield. You're not going to be able to get that. So if you look at it, um, there's really the two biggest things. Um, one is that string out can actually make you use lose yield. And secondly, that rain can actually make you lose the quality of the crop. So on some of these, you can actually see uh, this one is a good example, I think. Um, you can see right there the discolor discoloration has started. Um, again, not a good thing for the textile mills, right? So textile mills are going to pay less for cotton that does that. Um, here's what's really a bad thing, and I may have better pictures of it at home or something, but actually inside this lint, and this is pretty wet already, um, the seeds are in there. As I pull that apart, you can kind of see the seed. So since that seed is in there, depending on how much it rains and stuff, some of those seeds may actually think it's time to start growing and, um, and start trying to do that now. Um, if that happens, you have roots coming out and things, and you can really have some big quality problems there. Um, but anyway... Hope you hear that rain um, while we really, really need it because the drought's been so bad. We really could have waited <laughs> a little bit until some of these crops like this one are out of the field. Now you'll see there's still some limited amount of greenery here. I'm not sure uh, if this farmer tried to defoliate it earlier and then got this rain that's already strung out some of his cotton. See, that's a good example of string out there. Um, and that may be new growth that's come in or, or growth that just wasn't fully defoliated. Um, so he may need to do another shot of defoliant. This one here really shows the discoloration that you can get. Um, real quality problems if you have much of your cotton crop looking like that. 